Welcome to this little tutorial on side crow pose. Side crow is an arm balance, but it's also a twist. So it'd be pretty useful to warm up with some twists and some strengthening poses first before giving this a go. So to start, we're gonna come into a little squatted pose. So coming onto the balls of your feet. And then, like I say, it's a twist. So we're gonna to twist towards the side of the mat. Now I'm gonna show a right-sided side crow. So you're probably best practicing along doing the same side, but obviously it all applies to doing it onto the left as well. So we're gonna to twist towards the right and the hands are gonna to come to place as if you would for a plank. The hands turn ever so slightly outwards so that your index finger, usually your index finger, points forwards and the eye of the elbow points forwards as well. That forward rotation of your elbow is going to keep a nice broad space across your upper back. There's two ways that you can do side crow. One is a little bit easier than the other, so we'll start with the easier one. There's this chunky part by the knee and the chunky part at your hip. They are going to rest onto the back of the arms to find flight onto the hands. So the deeper we can twist, the better, because it, this back hip to elbow will be the challenging one to connect. Place your hands like you would for your plank. Turn the eye of the elbow to face forwards. Get those two points of your thigh onto your arm and then you're ready to go. You're lifting your hips away from the floor as your chest comes forwards. Now squeeze your thighs together as though you have just one big fat leg. Draw your heels in towards your bum and keep your gaze slightly forwards. So arm balances are always a counterbalance. We're going to try and make our chest and our head counterbalance the weight of our legs and our pelvis and bearing in mind that our legs are very heavy so we have to th keep thinking of sending our body weight forwards in order for the legs to become light enough to float away from the floor and note that I do say float we don't ever jump our feet off of the floor into an arm balance they either lift or they don't so placing your hands turn the eye of the elbow to face forwards find those two parts of your legs onto the back of your arms and then look forwards go forwards squeeze your elbow slightly in towards each other to keep that rounded space between your shoulder blades. Keep going forwards and as you squeeze your thighs together, your heels pull in towards your bums, so you're making them nice and small. Hug your belly in towards your spine so you're using your core to make your legs as light as possible and gently press the sides of this thigh and this hip down against the arm. So if you're struggling to find lift there, First, keep practicing. Secondly, the thing you can do is to place your feet onto a block. This is the same technique that I teach in the crow pose tu tutorial. So your feet to come onto a block into your squatty shape. This just helps give you a little bit extra height so that you've got less distance to need to pull your feet off the floor. Once again, twist your body. Find the hands to the floor like plank. The two parts of the thigh to come to the back of the arms and then as you go forwards, your feet are already further away from the floor than they were and therefore you may be able to find that lift if you weren't able to before. Now I'll quickly go through the more advanced version for those of you that have perhaps watched, watched this before and nailed the first version. Starting exactly the same way, we twist to one side, but instead of the knee and the hip finding a balance point on the back of the triceps, we only use one point. So we only use the arm that's on the knee side of the balance. This hip will not rest onto the other arm, it will float freely. So, the hands place as we did before, the, hand, the fingertips are lightly spread, turning the eye of the elbow to face forward, shoulder blades broad, belly hugging up towards spine, thighs are squeezing together, think about just having the one leg, knee onto the back of the elbow, lift the hips, find height, keep broadening those shoulder blades, you're going forwards, squeeze your thighs together and see if your heels will lift away from the floor. The same applies as letting your feet rest onto the block to give yourself a little lift up. One thing to really think about is this free unsupported arm or unresting arm stays pulling in. So what we don't want to do is let that elbow fall out as our side crow collapses. We want to think of the elbow drawing in as if we're trying to keep our arms parallel with each other. So like I say, this version is much, much harder, it takes a lot more core to find the balance but it's good fun to try. Thanks for watching and hope you had success with your side croaked. You can check out this playlist for some beginner friendly yoga flows or this playlist for some other individual pose breakdown tutorials. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe.